Bitcoin bulls in full effect. You see it here on the daily chart, and it seems like they might not have much of a choice. In this video, I want to break down the charts, of course, but I also just want to talk about why they have no choice. The supply shock that is happening right now with Bitcoin, and I want to also discuss how this impacts the rest of the crypto market, altcoins, how this will impact altcoins and what I think is going to happen. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into the video. Every day there's there's just new data that's playing into the supply shock story. We talked about for years supply shock, the supply demand in terms of Bitcoin. And this is the first time, the first cycle where it is actually not a narrative. It's happening. And here we have some some data a record, I should say. BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF IBIT hits a record $10 billion in assets under management. This is the fastest an ETF has hit $10 billion in assets under management at 37 trading days. Just 4% of all ETFs have reached the $10 billion mark. More history made by Bitcoin. So you see this inflow. You see the demand happening in these ETFs. And, and we see what that has done to Bitcoin charts in terms of the cycles, in terms of the moves that have been happening on Bitcoin before the halving is even here. This, another headline just dropping, Bank of America and Wells Fargo, two of the largest U.S. banks, are now offering Bitcoin ETFs to clients. It's happening, everybody. And then I want to just go over this, and then we're going to pivot over to the charts. In terms of this, this long-term supply shock story, I saw this post Bitcoin needs to go to a million dollars per coin, or we have a problem. 500 million ETF daily inflow equals any price less than a million dollar Bitcoin, and Wall Street needs to search for coins. Only 450 new, 50 of new coins soon to be available each day. Looks like Bology was right. This is bigger than anyone imagined. And it really, it really is just, if we just step outside of it all, when the Bitcoin halving happens, and this decreases now to only 450 new coins per day, and we see Bitcoin hitting these records with the ETFs, it really is just this story of, of supply versus demand at the very simplest level. There can be a lot of theories. There could be a lot of different perspectives on, on how market dynamics will react to the supply-demand factor, but it really is just if there's not enough supply, and there's just this insane increasing demand, price will go up. And it will be very interesting to see how it does interact. When Bitcoin breaks above its all-time high, the real fun starts. And this is just historically. How high can it push with ETFs in the driver's seat? And that is the question. This is Bitcoin on the daily chart. There's going to be volatility. I don't think volatility is going to end at all. This is Bitcoin on the monthly chart. Just want to make a note real quick because yesterday was a really important monthly candle closing. Look at Bitcoin closing this monthly candle essentially in the same exact area where Bitcoin was topping out in the last bull cycle. Bitcoin is in just brand new territory from a cycle perspective. We're, we're about to see Bitcoin go into price discovery mode. And so let's discuss though the short-term charts, and then I'm going to discuss what it means for altcoins and, and all of this demand for, for Bitcoin. Are, do altcoins have a shot here to get some spotlight as well in this bull market? I want to discuss that. This is Bitcoin on the daily chart. So in terms of what I'm watching on the daily, just a few things. Bitcoin making this, this power move through the bull market doors. It's a lower high Fibonacci. I've been talking about it nonstop, obviously, but Bitcoin breaking the bull market doors just the other day is a really big deal. Now we're watching consolidation for Bitcoin. So on the daily, there's not really any structure just yet, but with this entire move, I'm curious to see where structure will be as a starting point. And this is what I'm watching now. Consolidation is normal. It's what we want to see, I would, I would say, but we have the bull market doors, the top of the bull market doors. This is the 786 area of the Fibonacci retracement. And then we have, if you remember, Bitcoin was just testing this upper trend line of this rising wedge back here. So we were looking at this triangle here. It was the top of the bull market doors and the lower trend or the upper trend line of that massive rising wedge, just this triangle of resistance. Bitcoin broke through that entire area very quickly quickly and powerfully, which is awesome. But now we're basically, at least me, I'm watching that area support. 
And it would be very normal for Bitcoin to even revisit the top of the, the, the channel here, which is the 786 line of those bull market doors. Actually, if we go look at last cycle, check out the move for Bitcoin. I'm going to go all the way back here on the daily chart to the last time Bitcoin broke the similar area to kick off the parabolic bull run. You see Bitcoin powerfully breaking those bull market doors. And then look at this. This is like a 14, 15% dip, I think, back there to revisit the top of those bull market doors. So right around 16% or so, 15%, hits that 786 and then continues to the upside, interacting with that 20-day moving average. So if we go back to the charts right now, this is exactly the, the type of move I think would be normal and something that is not guaranteed to happen, but we can anticipate potentially. It's really the, the area of the 20-day moving average around 53,000 and the top of this bull market door area, the 786, right around $57,500 or so. I'd be watching that entire area, whether it's support right at this area or Bitcoin falls back into the range, hitting this 20-day moving average. Consolidation anywhere in there, I think, is normal. It's healthy. I would really enjoy seeing Bitcoin hold support above the bull market doors, but only time will tell if that happens. In terms of Bitcoin in general, it's looking good. It's looking very good uh, as far as where it is so far in consolidation above above this this bull market door area what i wanted to discuss as well and you know I, sh I should actually mention whatever consolidation happens now in the daily i'm very curious to see this next bit of structure that bitcoin puts in right just to give you an idea what what type of range will bitcoin be consolidating back here for instance bitcoin is going moving really nicely to the upside and just right here we wonder what kind of consolidation is going to take place and this is what took place right? So my question right now is the same thing. What type of consolidation is going to, is going to take place here? And does it happen above this uh, 786 bull market door area? Or do we fall back into the channel a little bit? That is going to be the biggest thing I'm watching for. Altcoins, crypto in general, a lot of people are kind of just like, you know what? This is Bitcoin's time. This is Bitcoin's cycle. And I continue to say, this is just my thought, but I truly think that altcoins will perform extremely well and i think they're going to outperform bitcoin so when we when we talk about things like bitcoin dominance i think bitcoin dominance will fall as it has every bull market past right so here's alt, altcoin season post bitcoin having a 2016 that's altcoin season this is bitcoin dominance falling this is post 2020 bitcoin having this is altcoin season that's bitcoin dominance falling i think 2024 having this next parabolic bull, I think Bitcoin dominance will fall. Now, there's room to the upside for, for this swing high on Bitcoin dominance, maybe putting in a lower high at a Fibonacci, a lower high Fibonacci range. But I just want to, one thing that ties into this idea that Bitcoin dominance, I, I think, will fall is even if it gets a leg up, Everything that we've just seen, everything that's happening right now, I'm showing you these headlines, Bitcoin breaking records, all of this is happening. Look at Bitcoin dominance on the weekly. It is still just ranging, right? So all while this is happening, altcoins are, this is basically saying, altcoins are just hanging, hanging in there with, with Bitcoin in terms of gains. And so if we get this crazy inflow and retail starts entering the game, because retail's not even here yet, if retail starts entering the game as the Bitcoin crypto bull market continues, this entire idea that altcoins are hanging in there with Bitcoin, because they are, even with Bitcoin having the most bullish narrative, it's only going to become even more powerful for altcoins if, if retail starts flooding in and, and then altcoins start getting a ton of inflow as well. I think Bitcoin dominance will fall. So it's been very interesting to see though, you know, the the way that dominance bitcoin dominance has been operating even within this crazy crazy bullish atmosphere where the bitcoin etfs are just getting all of the attention all of the talk and bitcoin's breaking records in that regard bitcoin hasn't even even in that environment broken out to this area and that's interesting to me if we get a dip if we get just crypto in general falling and a big consolidation on, for instance, even the Bitcoin charts. If Bitcoin just does something crazy volatile to the downside, always anticipate these things, everybody. Bitcoin's broke. It, it, Bitcoin, I forget what cycle it was, has broken the Bitcoin mar mar bull market tours and 
fell below the doors before going higher. I'm not saying I think that will happen, but it is in play, right? So if we get crazy volatility like that, that's, I think, more of a scenario where we see Bitcoin dominance rising because I think altcoins in that situation are going to see some big losses, at least in the short term. And that could be a power move for Bitcoin dominance on this chart. But if this bull run continues, even if that happens, I think dominance will continue to fall post Bitcoin having. But time will tell. I just wanted to kind of just bring all of that together and tie, tie the rest of crypto into what's going on with Bitcoin, Bitcoin charts as well right now. But on the daily chart, consolidation in play, consolidation happening, and, and we have our areas to watch for. So let me know your thoughts, everybody. I, I did want to mention, I should have mentioned earlier, I'll put it in the timestamp, obviously. First target to the upside still in play, $70,000. If you remember, this is this massive rising wedge Bitcoin broke out of basically back in November 2023 revisited the wedge, continued to the upside. Maybe we consolidate more, but that $70,000 target is the next target. I should have started with this in the beginning of the video, but that is in play. Let, con let Bitcoin consolidate now. That's what I'm telling myself, and we'll see what happens next. I appreciate all of you cruising through. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.